Hi, in this video we're going to write a program that computes the sum of a convergent infinite geometric series that starts at zero. So that looks like this, sum a times r to the n, where n starts at zero, and on like that. And so we're going to find the sum of the series, assuming it converges. So we'll assume that it converges. So this is actually equal to a over 1 minus r, and this will be true uh, if r is less than 1 in absolute value. So you have something like this. We're going to assume um, that that's the case uh, when we do the computation and when we build the program. We'll basically ask the user for two things. We'll ask them for r, and we'll ask them for a, and then we'll find the sum of the infinite series. Keep in mind this equal sign here is not just like a regular equal sign. There is a limit process going on here, right? This is really the limit of the nth partial sum of this infinite. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to it, jump into it and do the program. We'll start by including our header file. This contains uh, some of the functions that we'll be using in our code. And then here is our main function. All of our code for this program will go here. Okay, so let's start by um, defining some variables. So I guess we need, or we could use, uh, three variables. Uh, a, R, and the sum. So they could be decimals. So let's go ahead and use float. So float A, float R, float sum. Okay, and we're going to ask the user for R and A. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we'll use something called the printf function. That's one of the functions that's defined, I believe, in this file here. So we can say, uh, please enter the value of r. And then we end with our little semicolon here. In order to retrieve that, we can use the scanf function. Now, um, this tends to give me uh, an error about scanf not being safe. So you can eliminate it by uh, using scanfs. So I'll use that. So it's going to be a float, so we want to use percent %f. And then you want the ampersand, and we're looking for r here. We're, they're giving us r, so I'm going to use r. Now we'll ask for the value of a. So please enter the value of a. So again, we'll use scanf s, and then percent %f, and then this time ampersand a. Just like that. All right, good stuff. And so now we just have to do the computation. So the sum is equal to a over one minus r. And that's that simple. Like we can just literally write it like that and it works out perfectly, right? There's no, no reason for this not to work. Um, we definitely wanna make sure that we enter decimals in the input. Um, so, you know, we don't wanna enter one third. We would enter 0.33 as an approximation to third or 0 0.33333, et cetera. Okay, let's go ahead and print the sum. Print F. The sum of the series is, and then percent %F, because again, it's a floating, floating data type, and then sum, just like that. And that should be good. Uh, I'm not seeing any errors yet. Um, it's very easy to have mistakes in code. It's one of those things where like you hit, uh, you run it and you say error, error, error. So let's just try it. And if we have any errors, if I miss something, it'll show up here. So let's see. Okay, no errors. Usually I always, uh, I'm, I'm, I always expect mistakes. <laughs> so if you expect failure, uh, it's not so, but you know, if you're ready for it. So debug, start without debugging. Enter the value of R. Hmm, let's do two. No, no, it has to be a number between um, right, negative one and one inclusive and not zero. So how about 0.5? It has to converge. Uh, the value of R is, of A is seven, let's say, to 14. Yeah, that looks correct, right? That should be correct because uh, you would get seven over one minus 0.5. So seven over 0.5, so 14. So this program doesn't check to see if it converges. You know, we're, we're putting a lot of trust here in the user. Right, you could enter, um, for example, 10, right? I could do something like this, for example. And it tells me that it converges to negative one third, but that's, that's false, right? It doesn't even converge in this case because uh, it doesn't satisfy the conditions. So we did not include uh, a check on the condition. You could probably modify this program actually really easily. 
um, to check to see uh, if it converges. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.